going to do? Ooh. He's, uh, I, I, I kept my hand close there. Ew. That, all these traffic cones as we're driving down the road with autopilot engaged. I haven't seen... So this video is to show downtown Charlotte has um, some quite curvy and traffic-y uh, roads on I-77. As you can see in the map. So what I want to show real quick is how autopilot, which is where the blue steering wheel is, is enabled. And it's also shown by the indicators of the blue lines on the street indicating auto steer. And um, I want to see how autopilot takes it. So this is my video of autopilot. Max speed set at 75 miles per hour. I'll probably drop that down to 70 actually. I like to stay with the traffic. So um, I'm just gonna let it ride at 75. If I need to slow it down, I'll slow it down. If I need to take over, I'll take over. If I need to switch lanes because I don't have full self driving, I hit the, um, I will have to hit the blinker and then I need to make the turn, the lane change. So I will do that in order to not block the left lane or whatever reason. See like right now, we're going 75. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not really blocking anybody quite yet. But I gotta keep an eye on it because I don't want to. So it may, may speed up a little bit or get over. Um, I kinda wanna get over though a little further. So we're just gonna speed up. I got the distance set to one car length only, so uh, we're a little further than what it typically rides. So it must notice that we're in this curvy roads and not quite, you know, being quite as um, aggressive. Now, um, yeah, so we will see how this goes. It gets really curvy once we get to the north side of Charlotte. Um, you can't see it real well in the map. And we're heading to a supercharger, so as you can see, we are now preconditioning for supercharging. That's pretty cool. I wonder if people behind me can see the camera. Preconditioning is pretty wild because it starts making like a sound. So we're going to get over here. Throw autopilot back on. You may want to pass this truck. I don't like being around these trucks. My uh, wife's car. Just had a collision from a truck like the one in front of us and she doesn't know it was dark so she doesn't know if it was a mud flap or if part of the tire came off and it um hit the front of her car and damaged it and we had to file an insurance claim uh we're to get that fixed so that's what uh we're going we're doing at the moment her car is dropped off next week to get it repaired i had to pay a deductible for it Okay, so it's handling these turns just fine. These are not nearly the steep ones. I'm surprised it has to precondition the battery. I've been driving now for uh, uh, I shut off the car, I forgot about that. 94 miles. And um, you would think the car would be quite warm already. So we're going about 70, which is about where I, what I wanted to go anyway. So we'll probably just stick right here.
this truck's going too slow now. Back to that. We'll drop this down to 70. Sorry. I didn't like that. That was my bad. I got scared. And this is kind of where I wanted to see how I handled it too, right here. Alright, car. These are the sharp turns I was talking about. Handled that relatively good. Oh, I wanted to follow that line. The old line there. It's getting a little, it got a little confused there. Alright. See how it handles all these incoming cars. If you've never done this before, um, it does make you a little nervous on how it handles all of this. So I'm getting on 85, which says it's one mile. I don't think it's right here. 85 north. Yeah. It's coming up. I think this is better for these lanes. Go that way if I remember correctly. Right now. Um, I don't know if I'll have to change lanes. See that? It, it like it breaks just ever so slightly when we came up to the shadow on that bridge. It still does that. This is version 10. It's uh, it's November of 2019. So um, I believe both of these lanes, but I don't need to get over one in order for it to follow. Uh, yeah, definitely needed to. What's it's gonna do? What's it gonna do? <laughs> you said, I, I kept my hand close there. It, that was one of those situations where Tesla's been in an accident and it hit the um, the thing, the divider at the fork. And I don't know if you noticed that or not, but it uh, it kind of hesitated left and right. Woo! I didn't touch. I didn't actually put any force on it. It did all that itself. But I grabbed it like I was about ready to, just in case. You don't have to put a lot of force on it for it to turn off, but um, you know, you want to be careful. Let's see. Tesla autopilot in the heavy rain. It seems to even see this car in front of me with no headlights on or no taillights on. Um, it sees better than I do because I barely could see that car coming up. We were coming up on it pretty quickly with autopilot. And um, as you can see from my speed there, and it saw it and slowed down just like it would any time. update shows the traffic cones as you can see it's seeing all these traffic cones as we're driving down the road with autopilot engaged I haven't seen a cone in the lane and to see if the car will go around it yet or not and I'm kind of scared to try it but I doubt I'll get that on camera but we'll see if it uh how it does